This is part 22 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to generate unique ID value for the dynamically created form controls. If you're wondering why is there a need to generate unique ID values, well, first of all, IDs on a given HTML page are meant to be unique. Having duplicate IDs may work in some cases, but it is semantically incorrect to do so. Having duplicate IDs is a terrible idea. In our case, the application that we've been working with behaves erratically because of the duplicate element IDs. At the moment, as you can see on this web page, we've got three sets of dynamically created skill-related form controls. Now, when I click on this label right here, we expect this input element to receive focus, but the focus is actually going to be in this input element. Look at this. When I click on this label, the focus is in this input element. This is happening because all the skill input elements have got the same ID, skill name. Not just the skill input elements, even the experience input elements have got the same ID. And as a result of that, when we click on this label right here, instead of this element going to receive the focus, the focus is going to be in this input element. Look at this. I click here and the focus is right here. And all this is happening because of the duplicate element IDs. So we have to generate unique ID values for all these dynamically created form controls. This is our create employee component view template. We have our skill name input element right here. Notice at the moment its ID is hard coded to skill name. So every time an input element for skill name is dynamically generated, its ID is going to be the same thing, skill name. And to dynamically generate a unique ID value, we're going to make use of this loop variable i. Notice we are using the structural directive ng4 on our form array skills and looping over all the skill form groups in that form array. So for the first form group, the value of this loop variable i will be 0. For the second form group, it's 1. For the third form group, it's 2, so on and so forth. So we are going to use this variable i to generate unique ID value for all of our dynamically generated skill name input elements. So instead of hard coding the ID to skill name, let's use interpolation and concatenate this string skill name to the loop variable i. So for the first skill name form control, the ID will be skill name 0. For the second, it will be skill name 1. For the third, skill name 2, so on and so forth. At the moment, we are using interpolation syntax. We could also achieve exactly the same thing using property binding syntax. With property binding syntax, we don't use the curly braces. And we will surround the property name with a pair of square brackets. If you are new to the concept of interpolation, please check out part 8 of our Angular 2 tutorial. And if you are new to property binding, please check out part 9. I'll have these links available in the description of this video. Now, the label for the skill name input element is right here. Notice it's for attribute. At the moment, the value is hard coded to skill name. When we click on the skill label for the correct input element to receive focus, the value of this for attribute must match with the value of the corresponding input element ID. So whatever we have done on the ID property of the input element, we have to do the same thing on this for attribute as well. So let's surround the for attribute with a pair of square brackets and we want to append the string skill name with the loop variable i. Now one important point to keep in mind is this for attribute does not have a corresponding DOM property. So we cannot do something like this. We have to use attribute binding. With attribute binding, we prefix attr before the attribute name. If you are new to the concept of attribute binding, please check out part 11 from our Angular 2 tutorial. Now let's do the same thing with experience in years input element and its corresponding label. We could either use property binding syntax or interpolation syntax. I'm going to use the property binding syntax. Let's do the same thing with the for attribute. Notice the form is reloaded. Now let's generate a few more skill form groups. When we click on this label, we expect this input element to receive focus. There we go. The correct input element is receiving focus 
as expected. So the important point to keep in mind is we are using the loop variable i to generate unique id values. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.